Chapter 9 Human Occupations Introduction In order to fulfill different needs, human beings are engaged in a variety of activities. Some people farm the land, some others are engaged in making papar, etc. Yet some other people have shops of their own and some people work in banks, etc. These different activities are described as occupations. Let us study these occupations in detail. Classification of Human Occupations Primary Occupations Secondary Occupations Tertiary Occupations 1. Primary Occupations Some occupations are directly related with nature. Man just collects and uses things that are available in nature. Such occupations are called primary occupations. Examples 1. Lumbering 2. Fishery 3. Agriculture 4. Animal husbandry 5. Mining 6. Collection of forest produce etc. Characteristics of primary occupations 1. They totally depend on nature. 2. A lot of manpower is required. 3. Depending on the availability of natural resources, different primary occupations are carried out in different areas. 4. Compared to the labour inputs, the returns are quite low. 2. Secondary occupations we get different types of things through primary occupations. These things are used as raw material and processed to obtain new and more useful things. The things thus obtained are called finished products. Occupations that involve manufacturing of finished products from raw materials are called secondary occupations. For example, obtaining cloth from cotton or sugar from sugarcane. Characteristics of secondary occupations 1. The items manufactured in these occupations have better utility and greater value. 2. Long-lasting items can be obtained from perishable materials. 3. Machinery is used on a large scale in these occupations. 4. Mass production of items becomes possible. 5. Compared to the labour inputs, the returns are high. 3. Tertiary occupations Some occupations are supportive to primary and secondary occupations. To manufacture sugar, sugar cane has to be taken to the sugar factories. And once the sugar is ready, it has to be transported to the markets. As a result of this, transport and marketing services come into existence. Means of communication like post, telephones, mass media like television and radio, etc., are tertiary occupations. Many other activities such as sharpening weapons, giving tin wash to utensils, etc., are also tertiary occupations. All such supportive occupations like transportation, banking, etc., are called tertiary occupations. Characteristics of tertiary occupations 1. They do not produce any item. 2. Tertiary occupations provide services to the society. 3. To avail oneself of these services, one has to pay the cost. 4. Certain services need special skills. 
Such services are included in quaternary occupations. Example, doctors, lawyers, teachers, etc.